Hello folks and welcome to our screencast. In this video I'm just going to give you a quick tip for all the Safari users out there. Uh, I'm not sure how many people actually take full advantage of the built-in search feature in Safari. So I just want to quickly go over it and just show you how powerful it is. So I'll open up Safari. Basically you'll be viewing the web, the web regularly and you'll be going to different websites over the course of the week or whatever. And you might think to yourself, what was that web page I were on the other day? I want to go back to it. And if you haven't bookmarked it, or you haven't used your book bar menu here, your best option, well, not your best option, but what a lot of people do is they click on the history tab and look for the whole history. And if you've not got many pages to search through, it's not a problem. Like, as you can see here, since I last cleared my history, I haven't been to many websites. But if you haven't cleared your history for a week and you want to view a page from maybe three days ago, you'd have to flick through all your web history, go to that exact day, you've got to remember what day it was, then you quickly scan through your history, and you've got the titles, and you're trying to find what you were looking for, and it can be quite difficult, but there is a better way to do this. And you just click on your history tab, or your history button, and you can view all your history in cover flow, which is really useful as well. So obviously, Viewing it this way can be a bit easier than just looking at the titles of the web page or the URLs. But what you have got to the top here is a search function. And basically, say I want to find out, find a specific word or phrase on a web page which I'd viewed earlier this week or day or whatever, I can search for it. So I know for a fact I was looking at Mass Effect on the Amazon website. And if I just type in Mass Effect, it's come up in the search with eight pages. If you've got a few ways to view it, you can view it from here. And you can just flick through and I can see all the pages. So YouTube homepage had it on Mass Effect and also on Amazon. So I'll just click on it. This website, for example, it was the Alien vs. Predator. Um, on Amazon basically for sale but if you look down here we've got, we've got Mass Effect here so that's obviously why it's came up on the search but obviously here is actual Mass Effect on the Amazon website for sale so really as you can see the search function is quite useful let's for example type in the word iPad and as you can see three websites have come up we've got the Apple home page you've got the Apple iPad page and also we've got my YouTube channel page where I've done some iPad videos so I've got three matches there let's just type in a random one maybe John Follakers search and as you can see I've got three matches on my um, YouTube page basically home page and as you can see John Follakers has uploaded a video on Mass Effect so the search function is really powerful and really useful and it's a lot easier than searching just through your history manually use the search function take advantage of it so yeah hopefully you found that um, useful don't forget to subscribe because it's always much appreciated and thanks for watching and I'll see you later